Welcome to the first webcast with the final version of XCMS.NET 9. My name is Ralph Wegner and I would like to show you how to build up a website, what kind of preparations you need to be fast and efficient and to have a short time to market. First of all, this is the entrance to XCMS.NET. In this sample, we have different kind of websites and these websites are old websites of Hexinom. So what we would like to do, we would like to add a new website and we would like to fill this website with content. What do we need to be prepared for that? We need some layout. We need some layout description. We need some preparations from designers or web agency. In this case I have here some PowerPoint and in this PowerPoint I have my layout, my basic layout with normal header, a navigation, some text. This structure is split it into text. This means I have to define text. I have to define my style sheets for my headlines or for my different text formats. Um, we have here four formats and we have um, normal text for writing the articles. And this we defined for our website. We have defined the navigation. We have a two level navigation on the left side and as well a breadcrumb navigation in the middle. We have some extra navigation for displaying items which we do not want to be displayed in the main navigation for example investor relations or press or something like that. We have the website selector if you run more than one website for different kind of products or different languages you can use this for switching between the different company websites. We have a search box XMS.net is indexing documents and pages. With the search box you can search them. We have included in every page um, optimization print view and a recommendation icon for sending this page to another interested person. And here you can see how to define a content element. Um, in this case we defined a content element for writing an article for having a headline, having an image with the text surrounding the image. We can define now different other, different other uh, content elements. In this case we defined how movies should look like, um, how to make votings on the website, how to make drop-downs, etc. Et uh, we will not go through the definition, but if you want to build up a website with these elements, uh, the designer would have to define how these elements should look like. The another very important thing you need is uh, you need the text and the structure of your website. I have prepared a normal Word document and in this Word document we have the navigation. Um, I concentrated on the two level navigation and for every navigation point I prepared some text. This text is written normally in Word for being reviewed also by the departments um, which are responsible for the content. And this text I have now to transfer to the CMS system. To this text and to the layout we need some images some images to place in the website or some thumbnails to be used in uh, dynamic lists and we have also a video we want to show um, and we have some um, uh, some document, some paper, some white paper we want to link in the website. So I think we are now prepared to switch to xcms.net and to start to build our website.